2.5a, add and subtract fractions with common denominators. Consider the following problem, two-fifths plus one-fifth. If I filled in two-fifths of the first pi and one-fifth of the second pi, and then I added them together or put them all in the same pi plate, I would have three-fifths, which I would write as three parts of a whole that has five parts. So to add fractions that have the same denominator, we're going to add the numerators and keep the denominators. The same is true for subtraction, except that you subtract the numerators and keep the denominators instead of adding. When adding fractions, or subtracting fractions, you must always check to reduce at the end of the problem. You might want to note here that this is different than when multiplying with fractions. When multiplying with fractions, we reduce at the beginning, but when adding or subtracting fractions, we reduce at the end of the problem. Let's look at example one. Example one is four-sevenths minus two-sevenths. We subtract the numerators. Four minus two is two, and then we keep the denominators, which would make it two-sevenths. There's nothing to reduce, so that, that is our final answer. Let's look at example two. Example two is seven-tenths plus five-tenths. Remember, we add the numerators, seven plus five is twelve, and then we keep the denominators the same, or ten and ten is ten. Now, in this problem, we must reduce. We know that both the numerator and the denominator can divide by two, which will give us six-fifths. This is our final reduced answer. Remember, when adding or subtracting fractions, you must always add or subtract the numerators, but you do not change the denominators. You keep the denominators the same.